Baby. Let's head to the Valley, Valley because Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and the Suns were taking on Kyrie Irving and the visiting Nets. Let's pick this one up in the first quarter with the Nets down eight. Kyrie Irving here showing off his handles a little bit, going through traffic, kicks it out. Patty Mills. Uh. Ah, That's good. I mean, look at this once most. again. Reverse 360 in the middle of traffic, but still finds the green light in the shooter, Patty Mills. But, you know, I love how he's capable of distributing the ball, but th that right there, that signature James Harden step back three. Absolutely. But then we go the other direction. Maybe highlight of the ball. night, guys, right? Like halftime, beating the buzzer. We'll never quit on a possession. Icing on the cake. This is right the one there. that got me off my couch. I was kind of lazily watching this game, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, yeah, this is go time. And entering Tuesday, the Suns were 30 and 0 this season when leading after the third quarter. So let's head to the fourth here. Well, y'all, the, the theme of this highlight is passing because we've got the NBA lead leaguer in passes and check that out. Nice, you know, off the hip bounce pass. That's textbook basketball. That's a no look and a great finish. It's nothing like running the floor knowing you go get the ball. Uh, speaking of which, you know, uh, you know who knew know who was going to get the ball based on how he was though. shooting? Who was that? Devin Booker. Absolutely. <laughs> and then. Turnover, Devin Booker nice throws it up. Bam. I know that's not quite welcome the value, back, but welcome back, DeAndre Ayton. That looked pretty good. The Suns win it. Here's Chris Paul after the game. I think what helps us is we just have a complete team. The Phoenix Suns are scorching hot. 11 straight wins for the best team in the NBA through 50 games. That's a high-level team playing the best basketball in the league. A lot of momentum on their home court, great crowd. So the experience that they have as a team, it really showed well tonight. And we were making great runs, but just like when you're going against great teams in this league, they keep coming at you, that's what they do. With our record and some of the attention that we're getting, I think we're getting everybody's best, and that helps you grow. We have the mentality that we can play against anybody. Not fun or a fact. Despite several key players being injured during the stretch, the Suns have won 11 straight games thanks to a league-best offense, scoring almost 120 points per 100 possessions. Ooh. Phoenix, they have also continued to dominate in clutch time with seven more such wins, while Chris Paul has averaged almost 12 assists per game, which is also a league high. So, as we've talked about before, the Suns are the only team in the NBA right now that have had two double-digit winning streaks. They were to 18, remember, back in November, and then this current win streak of 11 but to me when you look up and down the roster mm -hmm. Phoenix seems I want to say by far but the Milwaukee Bucks are coming up behind them but they seem like the most complete team in the NBA but I do want to know who is the most valuable son the MVS if you will and as much as I don't really <laughs> want to Richard I'm going to start with you most <laughs> valuable well I, I think it's I, to me I, I, I get it out say it it's Chris Paul it's Chris Paul but this is this where the, the producer is going to get a little confusing I misunderstood the assignment because they said <laughs> what was surprise, going to surprise. be what was going to be the most important. Uh, hey, son Perk, as down expected. This track? Yeah, right. as, ex All right, as so expected. Who is the most important? Son? Thank you. Who is the most important <laughs> son? I think is DeAndre Ayton, and okay. the reason why I think is DeAndre Ayton is because when you look at the teams at who they're going to have to play against, if and who comes out the East, you could possibly have a Giannis. You can possibly have a Joel Embiid. You can possibly have high-level bigs that he's going to have to dominate. And when Giannis went for a 50-piece. And in the deciding game, mm. like, and I'm not saying this, that's all DeAndre's fault, but, like, I think he's going to be the most key person when it comes down. Because we know Chris Paul. We know Devin Booker. We know Mikel Bridges. We know what those guys do. He is an X factor. Well, I think you're wrong. I, uh, I agree. We, we know Devin Booker. <laughs> we know Chris Paul. And we know DeAndre Ayton. But now we really know Mikel Bridges, one of the best two-way players in the game today. Mm. And when we look at him on the defensive end, the Phoenix Suns cannot get out of the Western Conference without having a guy like Mikel Bridges to actually guard guys like a Steph, a Clay, a Donovan Mitchell. All those guards that are in the Western mm -hmm. Conference, they're going to need this man right here. And what he has done is he has elevated his game on the offensive end. So when you look at what he's done for us growing on, on that aspect, last year he was just a guy that was a spacer. Uh, you know, stand, shoot, stand, catch, yeah. and shoot, or one dribble pull up. Now I'm seeing turnarounds in the lane, creating off the dribble, things to that nature. So I would have to say, although we already know about their big three, Mikael Bridges is sliding in 
and possibly making them, you know, a miniature four. And I think it's interesting... <laughs> what, a miniature mm -hmm. four, it's funny. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's interesting because Mikhail Bridges took that identity, especially after he guarded Steph Curry when Steph was on fire to start the season. And I'm like, oh, he is their defender. But we all know who the true answer is when it comes to valuable players. The one that really changed the trajectory of the franchise, it's Chris Paul. And what he's been doing, you know, I think, you know, the, the answer could arguably be Devin Booker, but what has he done for Devin Booker? He's allowed him to not have pressure and be the ISO scorer when they need him the most. All right, what has he allowed DeAndre Ayton to be? Uh, you mentioned defense. I mean, DeAndre Ayton, he became himself by last year's playoffs guarding AD, then the reigning MVP, Nikola Jokic. Then, um, obviously, Giannis in the finals, and, of course, switching out on the Clippers, you know, bigs. Chris Paul brings out the best in everyone in this scenario, and so... We know the straightforward answer is Chris Paul, but the fact that we can say this person is valuable, this person is valuable, that's why they're atop of the NBA rankings. Chris Paul, Mikael Bridges, who I know you tweeted about last night saying that he may have a case to make the all-star team, and DeAndre Ayton, nobody is going to take Devin Booker? Well, the reason, the reason being is because we know what Devin Booker is going to do. We know that he's a guy that could go out there and give you a 50-piece wing than a Cajun rub. We understand that. That's why I was trying to break down about CP3. We know who he is. We know what DeAndre Jordan is going to do double-double-wise. DeAndre Ayton, But yep. do y'all agree with me? Because Richard brought this up yesterday on the show Stop about touch, the touching. Phoenix. I can tell. Stop whatever. touching me. <laughs> but, uh, brought this up on the show about, you know, hey, let's keep the same energy, basically, about the Phoenix Suns being 41-9. and nine. Yep. They should be able to get three all-stars in. That's I, usually I, how it goes. I'm just saying that Devin Booker is the league's most efficient player in clutch time. 67% from field goal. He's number one. Chris Paul is number four. So with three uh, people Chris, on the panel. Chris Paul's Chris leading the assist. Is assist. I was just saying we nobody assist. said on this panel we love you, Devin, Devin Booker. Booker. I, there's, no, there's no lack of Devin Booker yes. left here. We, we appreciate what he's able to do. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.